Okay, this video is going to be on a um, uh, injector leakage test on a Great Wall V200 uh, turbo diesel. Um, you know you've got a, a bad injector when you start the engine when it's cold and it will fluctuate, the engine revs will go up and down a bit and it will also probably take an extra couple engine cranks to fire up. So easy way to test it is take this top cover off and that will get us to the injectors. So I'll get this off first. Okay, when you, once you got the engine cover off, um, there's actually a line that goes to each of the injectors. Um, it's the return hose you want. So I'll get you in closer so you can see which line I'm talking about. The injector return line is this one here. That goes to, this end here goes to the actual f uh, fuel return line. And there's four connections which go to each injector. So you just need to pull them off. It takes a little bit of force sometimes. It's just a bit of hose on a little fitting. So let's see how it comes off. So we'll pull all four off. Okay, now that I've got all um, four hoses off, you'll need one of these injector test kits. Or a leakage test kit. You buy them on eBay, they're uh, $25, $30. Comes with a whole range of bits and pieces in there. Part you're after is this one here. Just hook this up to the four injectors. need four of these just to block off the return line Three, four. okay just on the return lines I usually hook these on just to stop a bit of air going back in the line that you don't want in a diesel motor so you just plug this see that it's just a, a plug so nothing will no air will go in just fit them in Okay, these bottles you get, they do have measurements on it, but I don't usually worry about that too much. Um, you need to hook up four of these bottles to each injector. So where you've pulled this return line off, and plugged it up of course, uh, on the injector, you actually hook the bottles to it. So it's just a matter of sliding them on. Just do it on all four. four injectors hooked up there so that should be one two three four this last two it's if you got a six cylinder car all right so what we do now is turn the car on like start it up and what should happen is you shouldn't get any fluid in here at all and if it's if you've got a leaky injector it'll start to fill up and that's what we don't want all right so I'll go and start the car and we'll see what happens.
Okay, as you can see, it was injector number four is the one that's leaking. That's the hose that's connected to number four. Um, so in order to fix that, we need to replace the injector. Um, I won't do that on this video. I'll do it on a separate video to make it easy to, for people to search it on YouTube. Um, all right, so I'll, I'll just put all this back together, order a new injector, and I'll do another video on how to replace it. All right, thanks for watching.